Let us worship God. Jesus said, Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. You are in our midst, Lord. Your presence fills this place, fills this hour, fills this moment, fills our hearts and souls, binding us together in one spiritual communion, in the body of Christ and in the household of faith. In the fellowship of your Holy Spirit and with your whole church on, in heaven and on earth, we offer you, Almighty Father, our praise, our love and our obedience. Accept our worship in the name of Jesus. Amen. You should have at least one copy of Mission Praise. I put two out in all the spaces where people could sit. So I hope everyone's got a copy of Mission Praise. They haven't been handled since last Monday, so there's no chance of uh, any spread of uh, virus through handling them. And at the end of the service, would you just leave them in the pew and they can wait till next week when, again, it'll be perfectly safe to handle them. So that's the way we get round that problem of handing out hymn books, which we're currently not allowed to do according to the rules, but we are allowed to sing again. And it's wonderful this time not only to be able to sing, but to have an organist as well. Last time we didn't have an organist, and I thank you, Julie for playing the organ today. This hymn we're going to sing, first of all, is number 101, 101 in Mission Praise. I'm just trying to get myself organised here. I will sing the wondrous story of the Christ who died for me, how he left the realms of glory for the cross on Calvary. Yes, I'll sing the wondrous story of the Christ who died for me. Sing it with his saints in glory, gathered by the crystal sea. Let us stand to sing.
our reading this morning is one of the most famous readings in the whole Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Paul writes, And now I will show you the most excellent way. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I'm only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but have not love, I'm nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor, and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection, as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain. Faith, hope and love. But the greatest of these is love. Here ends the reading. We come to our prayers of intercession. Let us pray. Lord our God, we bless and we praise you because you have created us in your own image. You have called us, Lord, to reflect your love and your forgiveness offered to all. And you give us the power to share in your grace. And so we bless and praise you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Lord, as you reveal your love to us, help us to show that love towards all whom we meet. And we ask your blessing now upon all who are seeking to reveal your grace through their lives and seeking to walk in the ways of your love. We pray for all engaged in the task of preaching and teaching of your love. We ask your blessing upon all who study the scriptures privately at home, in Bible study groups, or in schools. O Lord of life and love, hear us and help us.
Lord, as you teach us to respect each other, help us also to respect the earth and all its creatures. Lord, enable us to have a a reverence towards all of your creation. And we pray for your guidance upon all who are in authority and people of influence and responsibility who are seeking to care for the resources of our planet and for the environment in which we live, seeking to find ways of combating the devastation caused by climate change and to reduce our carbon emissions and to produce a sustainable future for the next generation. We pray for all those areas of the world that have been devastated by greed or by war. Places where people are starving because harvests have failed, whether for natural disasters or because wars are raging. And areas devastated by the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for all in such areas and for the relief agencies that are seeking to help them. We pray for all who are suffering natural disasters at this time in various parts of the world, droughts, wildfires, flooding, tropical storms. Lord of life and love, hear us and help us. We pray for all those gathered in Japan for the Tokyo Olympics, athletes and support staff who are there. We pray, Lord, that this event will be carried out without danger of infection and that there might be a spirit of international cooperation through the Olympics. Lord, we pray that you will Forgive us our times of anger and hatred and that you'll help us to live at peace with each other. May our community and the communities in which we may live be places where no one is belittled and where no one is oppressed. And so we pray for our town of Brecon, the churches within this town, and the people around us, and for our homes and our loved ones. Lord of life and love, hear us and help us. We remember before you now, Lord, all those who are suffering through violence or through abuse, Pray especially for those whose lives are marred by things that they have done in the past or by their present sins. And we pray also today for all who are struggling with pain or chronic illness or who find it difficult to cope with life on their own. Lord of life and love, hear us and help us. We rejoice that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. We thank you for loved ones who departed this life in the faith of Christ. And thank you that we can rejoice together in the fellowship of all your saints. We commend ourselves, the world, and all people to your unfailing love. Lord of life and love, hear us and help us. 
We pray together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.